What's going on everybody? JD Game here and today guys I'm going to be showing you how to properly use ShareFactory. So guys pretty much all you have to do is uh, download the app ShareFactory as you can see on the screen right now and pretty much what I'm going to be doing is showing you guys how to use it. We're going to be dividing the video into parts okay guys. It's parts showing you specifically how to do some stuff because maybe some of you guys don't know how to or don't know how to use ShareFactory need to see the whole thing. Maybe some of you have to learn something specific such as putting the fonts on the screens, how to make an intro, anything like that. But guys, uh, let's get right into it. So what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be making a Fortnite video. So pretty much all you have to do is start off by using new project. So click on new project. Then you're going to be given all these different options that you can use. Um, to me, it's not going to matter which one I use. I'm just going to use the Share Factory. And then, as you can see, all your recordings are going to pop up on the screen. If you guys do not know how to record on the PS4, you have to double click the Share button. And then when you're, you end your video, the same thing. So what I like to do is, these are the natural Share Factory things, the intro, um, the second intro, the outro, and the stinger clip. Generally, what I do is I take all these off the top, your top three, and then I keep the stinger clip in. Then you gotta, you gotta find your video. Um, in this case, it's gonna be this 23 minute video right here. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna drop down to the bottom because I'm gonna be putting my intro in. And you do have to select what you want in order. So for example, let's say I want my intro first, I have to click it. And as you can see, a number one will pop up and that means that's gonna be the first thing to be displayed. Um, whenever you put these things in, they're always first and last, so they're not going to give you numbers. And then second, I need my Fortnite video, so that right there. Then to start the project, all we have to do is hit square, as you can see in the bottom left-hand corner. And we're going to create our project. So as you guys can see, we've got the intro here. Uh, you can check it if you want. And then after that, we've got the video. So guys, um, if you want to, let's say you want to rotate from the beginning to the end of the video, um, and you don't just want to do this, if you hit your R1, it'll get you all the way to the end of the video, like the, the clip that you have. And then if you hit L1, it'll do the same thing. All right, guys. So now what we're going to be doing is we're going to be learning how to put fonts in. All right, guys, so we're going to start off by putting some fonts in. We're also going to learn how to split clips in the, pro in the process, I guess. So as you guys can see, I don't do an intro to this video. I pretty much just, uh, we just start off. I'll play it right now so you guys can see. Or we all go to Fatal. So see, I just we just kind of start talking and playing. So what we're going to be doing is um, we're going to be breaking the clip in half. So you can choose where you want to uh, break. You have to go to the section that you want to break. In this case, I'm just going to break it, let's say, right here. Then you're going to click Square. Square will give you all these different options. Time Bender, which is uh, the speed of the video. Split Clip, which is what we're going to be using. Trim Clip, Move Clip, Delete Clip, Clone Clip, Pan and Zoom if we want to zoom in clip volume, edit music, and edit overlays. So we're just gonna head over to split clip. You hit X for confirm. Then as you guys can see in the bottom left-hand corner, to break it, we have to hit X. To trash the clip, we hit square. And then we've got a few other options. So we're gonna break the clip, split clip, yes please. And then we're just gonna hit circle to get out of that mode. Then what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be adding text to the screen. So guys, as you can see in the bottom left-hand corner, you could see a little plus. When we're adding stuff, we hit plus. When we're working on stuff, we hit square. So just hit X. And then you're gonna see add clip. So if we wanna add a new clip that we have, we can do that. If we want to add a screenshot, we can do that, which is the intros essentially. Uh, if you guys wanna learn how to make an intro, I'll have that at the very ending. Um, add track, so if we want a voiceover, uh, let's do that right now, actually. Be all right, we'll do that after, actually. And then we can add music. We can add an overlay, which is the text. We can add filters, layouts, and transitions. So we're going to start off by adding the overlay. So let's do that. So the stickers are the first one. It, you'll always have your sticker um, as the first one. In my case, it's the little JD game head. Um, then you guys can go to the bottom. You can check out all these different things, little troll faces, which are always funny, different emotes. And... Follow, subscribe, like, wow, actually, this is kind of helpful because I've never seen those. And there's a bunch of little text bubbles and arrows and a bunch of cool different things. Then if we go over, we could see theme stickers, which are specifically for ShareFactory. Imported images, didn't import any, and then text. That's one of the big things. People want to know how to put text on the screen, and that's what we're going to do. So if you go down to text, you get to select the font and the size that you would like. In this case, let's use this cool font, uh, X to select. And then what we're going to be doing is we're going to be putting solid gold. So I'm just going to put that in quickly. And as you guys can see, all you have to do is spell it out. Spell it, well, not solid game, solid gold. And then uh, you get to choose how long you want it in. Sure, five seconds is fine with me. And then transform is if we want to move it around. So I did hit X on transform. 
then you hit the X to check it off. So we're going to need to keep it at the top, the opacity. That's how big it's going to be. And then we also got the color. You know what? Let's change the color for fun. Let's go with green. Uh, we could do title effects. Let's check that out. As you guys can see, we've got uh, all these cool different little effects. There's a bunch of them, but we're just going to go with this one. Uh, then we got the animation. Uh, I'm not going to worry too much about that, guys. We're not going to go too in-depth. We're just going to do the basics. Uh, text duration, which is how long. We can edit it, delete it, layer it, and align it. So let's align it. Align left, align center, align right. We want the center. There we go. Perfect. And now if we get out of this mode, we can hit circle. And let's watch it. So we've got the intro, and then we're going to have our text pop up on the screen. Two of us go. Perfect. All right, guys, and the next thing we're going to be doing is learning how to mute clips and voiceover. All right, guys, now we're going to learn how to mute uh, certain video clips, and we're also going to learn how to voiceover. So we're going to just mute this little clip right here. So pretty much what you have to do is we have to edit, not add, because we're not adding anything. We're going to be editing something. So we go to the clip volume, as you can see right here, select that, and we can choose how loud we want it and how quiet. But we don't want it quiet or loud or even just regular. We want it to be completely quiet. So we're going to go all the way to the bottom, and whenever we're ready, we hit X to confirm. And also, let's say you're making a montage of some sort, pretty much all you have to do is select this little box, and all your videos will go silent. If you have an intro, your intro will too. So you got to make sure that on your intro, you go fix that. But we're going to unselect that because that's not what we want, and we're going to confirm it. There we go. So now if we watch this clip, there should be no volume. Look at that. Perfect. Solid gold with no volume. Now, guys, um, we're going to be making a little intro. In this case, we're going to be voicing over. So pretty much what we've got to do is we've got to add something. In this case, we're adding a track. And pretty much what you've got to do is you've got to hit X, and then you can talk over your video. So let's do that right now. Once you hit X, you're going to see record audio. Your, your uh, audio isn't going to start right away. It's going to take five seconds, as you can see. Or you can start instantly by hitting record. So let's do this. What's going on, everybody? JD Game here. And today we're with Ben Duke, Jack, and uh, Caden Cat Kid. And today, guys, we're going to be playing some solid gold. So yeah, let's get right into it. So as you guys can see, it's easy to voiceover. I should have, if I would plan the video, I would have made sure to do the voiceover first, then mute the clip. But in this case, it's not a big deal because I'm just showing you guys how to do it. And if you hit circle, you come out to your regular screen. Now let's watch it. Make sure it worked. What's going on, everybody? JD Game here. And today we're with Ben Duke, Jack, and uh, Caden Cat Kid. And today, guys, we're going to be playing some solid gold. So yeah, let's get right into it. See, now in reality, uh, what happened was I didn't go all the way till the clip started talking again. So really, I would just cut this little part out or make it so you guys can hear us again. But it's not a big deal for right now. So guys, um, let's move on to the next part. All right, guys, so now we're going to be learning how to add music and transitions. Uh, I don't generally use the transitions in my videos, but I'm still going to show you guys anyway. So guys, if we want to add music, we're adding something, so hit X. Uh, add music's right here. Now guys, um, pretty much what you have to do is you have to use what Share Factory has or you can go down to import from USB and you can import a USB drive into your PS4. In my case, I haven't done that yet, but eventually I imagine I will. So you can test all the songs by hitting R2. Anyway, and you got a lot of different options. Bet you this one rings a bell. Anyway. And then you got a couple other good ones here and there. Not the greatest songs though, guys. If you really want to upload your own songs, um, you can import from a USB. Unless you guys are paid YouTubers, make sure you don't do that because it will be copyright. Unless you have permission. So guys, um, you know what we're going to do? Why not add some shivers? Uh, we're going to add it right here. And let's edit the music too while we're at it. So we got to split the music, guys, because we're going to be taking a part of it off. Because as you can see, in the bottom left-hand corner, right over the circle button, you can see the green. That is our music. The blue line is our clip. So pretty much what we're going to be doing is, guys, we're only going to be putting the music in whenever I'm talking. So uh, what we're going to do is we're going to split the clip right here, which is where I stopped talking. So split. And we're going to delete this part right here. So delete music. We have to hit square to trash it. And it's gone. Now, guys, as you can see, I, I'm talking while the music's on. What's going on, everybody? Judy Green here. And today we're with Bendy Jack. Now, you guys might find that's a bit loud. You're right, it is. So, if we hit square to edit the music, because we are in the music section right now. We are not in the full section, like um, where we edit our clips. That's right here. So, we're just going to hit square again, and we're going to go edit music. And that's how you can get to this little section. So, 
we're going to edit the music by hitting square and we're going to go to music volume uh, which is right here and we're going to turn it down to about uh, let's say let's test 40 percent um, and then we don't want to apply to all because there's no need prioritize sure just leave it checked off for now confirm now let's test that what's going on everybody JD Z. not bad I'm just gonna leave it like that for now because this is only an example video and then guys um, pretty much what we got to do is let's say you get caught in the regular zone and you want to edit your music all you have to do hit square and you can go in here edit music now guys let's try the transitions so in order to do a transition we have to add so you want to make sure that when you do a transition you always want to make sure you're on the clip that you're going to transition into so in this case we're going to be on this one so let's hit X we're going to add a transition and then we can choose whatever transition we want let's check some of them out that one's pretty cool let's try this one I'm just going to look at a few of them here all right we're going to go with this one for now so guys, you just add your transition into this little area, and then watch, whenever the clip's over, it's gonna transition for us. And then we're right into the video. All right guys, now for the next part. All right guys, now we're gonna work on adding um, a filter, and we're gonna check out the layout while we're at it. Oh yeah guys, and if I forgot to bring it up, I apologize, if you wanna add a clip that you forgot, you can add clips right here. So let's just go to the end of the video for a second, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna do an example. So, if we hit um, add clip, uh, pretty much what we're going to do is here, let's just add this share factory clip because it's small and easy to delete. Uh, you just got to select it by hitting X and look guys, there is an order. So one, two, three, and so on. Like I said at the beginning of the video and you just hit square. And that should, whoops, and that should add your clip right here. So guys, uh, when adding clips, you have to make sure, oh yeah, and if you want to delete clips, just hit square to edit. Um, if you want to add clips, guys, you got to make sure that you're not on the one that you want it to be in between. Like, for example, if I want it in between these two, uh, I have to be on this side, not on this side. So, like, right in between the gap. And make sure you're on your the selected side that it's going to be transitioning into. Uh, and that's pretty much how to do that. Now what we're going to be checking out is our filters. So let's do that. Uh, you can just hit X and it's on the add menu and we can check out all these different kind of fonts that we can use and turn our video into it So uh, inverted is pretty cool. We got colorize black and white. We're, let's just go with black and white We're gonna keep it basic so what guys as you can see it's gonna affect just this one clip It would affect the whole thing if it was if it wasn't cut in half like we split earlier But we are indeed split so um, it's just gonna do this this part of the video all right, guys, now we're going to move on to the final part of the video. All right, guys, so now another part that you guys might be waiting for is the intro. So let's just watch mine quickly to keep it basic, and we're just going to break it down. So, guys, as you can see, obviously, we've got the, the words coming up on the screen, and we move them. So let's work on that. Well, for starters, your question might be, well, how do we get that background? All right, so let's do it right after my intro. Um, so guys, like I said, whenever you want to add something, uh, you want to hit X, um, and we're going to be doing add a screenshot, and yes, here they are. So you've got just the share factory, if you want solid colors, the head cube, which is uh, what Ben Dupe uses, there's what Hawkeye uses, the eclipse, it's hard to see it move. Um, then we got the cloud, I don't think anyone's using that right now. I know that Pit Biker uses this one, and of course I use the stars. So guys, you know what we're going to do? We're going to actually, currently, we're going to be remaking my intro. So. Let's select the stars and then just add your screenshot. So as you guys can see, it should be around the same length, about 10 seconds or so. Or so. Then pretty much what we have to do, guys, is if we want to um, add the music, we just got to hit X. Then we're going to add our track, or not our track, sorry, our music, my bad. And we're going to choose whatever song we want. In this case, Scape, because that's my song. I guess the, the clip isn't as long as I thought, but that's all right. Then guys, pretty much to edit our music, all we have to do is um, edit music. And then whenever your intro is done, all you have to do is uh, hit square to edit it. Then what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be splitting the music. And then on our right side where we have all that music, we're deleting it, getting it out of here. So guys, I guess we're not gonna be completely remaking my intro, but we're doing our best. So as you guys can see, then the music comes in and then Pretty much what we're going to be working on now is we're going to be working on the overlays. So we're going to split this clip in half. And in order to do that, we hit square, split clip, and then we split it. That way, pretty much what we could do is we can add our overlay. 
So we're going to go with, let's go with this one. And JD underscore game, there's, it's under my options. Hit R2 for finished. Uh, duration, the two seconds, yep, that whole two seconds. And then once you're in this little zone, just hit circle to get out of it. And pretty much what we're going to be doing is we want to make sure that it pops up on the screen. Yep, perfect. Now we're going to hit square because we're going to go edit our overlays. In this case is this one. Uh, you have to make sure you go into the video where it is. Hit square. You can choose your colors. So let's see. We're going to go with green. Obviously, that's the first one. We're going to transform. We're going to put it into the middle. Let's circle there to get out of that. And then we have the first one pop up. And then we're also going to be having another one. So add overlay. Once again, guys, sorry it didn't long, last as long as I thought it would. This little, uh, the little star scenery. Um, I actually, whoops, I didn't know it wasn't going to last that long, but uh, I must have used two at the time. Once again, sorry guys, because this is old, if you, if you guys aren't aware of it. My intro is old. It's almost a year now that I've done that. So now pretty much all we have to do is we have to edit our overlays. Whoops, so we're going to hit X once we get there. And then, whoops, we don't want to train it. What's going on? Oh yeah, edit. Whoops, my bad. All right, and then we're going to transform it. We're going to put it at the bottom just to change it up a bit. You can center it if you want. Align, align to the center, then choose your color. Let's go with blue, just like that. And then guys, you could do your text duration, which is how long it's gonna be, your effects, your animation, all that kind of stuff. So guys, um, let's watch the new one that we just created. It's just, it's not very long, but oh well. Music takes a while to kick in, but that's just the way. Guys, the other song shouldn't be like that. I'm pretty sure if I'm not mistaken, that's just Scape. But uh, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope this helped you out. If you need something done in detail, let me know. Um, if you want, you could stay till the end of the video. I'm going to cut it here, but if you need to see how to upload it, pretty much all you have to do else is, or maybe that's it. Yeah, you got Daily Motion, YouTube, Facebook, and Twitter. I can't hit share because if I'm not mistaken, it's going to stop my recording. So um, I'm not going to worry about that. But guys, I hope this helped out, and I hope you enjoyed the video. But anyway, till next time, guys. Peace.